Hey, what's up guys? So far we have seen three different video tutorials on blockchain. So the very first one was the issues which are there in the current banking system. The second one was the solution in order to mitigate those issues by blockchain. And the third one was the core concept or the transaction working in how blockchain functions. So in today's video, we'll see what all are the different features which makes blockchain as the most prestigious as well as the revolutionary technology in today, now or in the future. So let's begin. So we have the very first one that is we have the increased capacity. So this I would say as a remarkable feature of blockchain. Uh, so it does increase the capacity of the entire network. So in this you don't have one particular workstation or one particular computer to work but you have a bunch or a just a massive uh, range of computers you have. Uh, and so it's called as nodes which just uh, do all the work together in a more uh, linear and a fashion way. So you have the load balancing and all other activities uh, in just in a collaborative way and not just on one particular computer. So uh, a lot of computers works together and offers a large computational and uh, efficiency than few of which were there earlier centralized. So it's like earlier on the traditional banking system, you have one particular kind of database or you have one particular kind of server which does all the computational activities. So it's like a kind of uh, headache where they're on that particular database or on the particular da data center. So that kind of issue is not there in blockchain. So I would say an example to support this feature is that there was a project started by the Stanford University uh, in which they made a supercomputer which does the protein folding activity as part of their medical research. So uh, that example supports the increased capacity where uh, you have the entire uh, range of uh, computers called as nodes which are just widespread in a particular area and not just one computer. So we have this uh, second point that is the better security. So since it's secured by a number of computers over a particular range and it's called as nodes, which confirms the transactions on the network. So it's like if you have one particular kind of uh, computer or one particular workstation, it's like a kind of collapsing activity happens at certain or some point of time, but you cannot just recover back from it. So that's why you have this secured range of computers called as nodes. And if it's like your individual account or any public key or private key is being hacked by means of any kind of data leaks, then that can be avoided. So that's why it's always said that you should never share your passwords or credentials with anybody else. So which brings us to the third point that is we have the immutability property. So in blockchain, you cannot do the mutation of the ledgers. So creating immutable ledgers is the main value or the major value that proves blockchain has to be the most revolutionary and the strongest technology of the future. So if the database is there, which is centralized and subjected to get hacked at any point of the time, as it requires some kind of trust from the third party, if that trust is not there, obviously you don't have that security and your DB gets compromised. So blockchain like Bitcoin, it keeps uh, its ledger in a never ending state in a forwarding momentum. Uh, so we have the uh, next point that is we have the faster settlement. So uh, in our uh, core concept of blockchain, we saw that how uh, blockchain does it transactions in a more efficient way by eliminating those third party as well as the middleware. So that's where the faster settlements comes into picture and there's the, all these transactions at really, really faster speeds. Uh, next, we have the decentralized system. So there is no concept of centralized system in blockchain, but a decentralized network is there where you have kind of load balancing activity and all everything is done in one particular uh, kind of area where all computers are equally responsible for bringing up the system or making it down. So that's where we have the decentralized system. So it can be uh, assumed as like you have a public cloud where you upload your assets. Assets could be anything, a document or a contract. So that can be accessed by the owner and he can just share with other members and he have a public key or a private key which he can share with other members to uh, use it or can produce it in some other way. So uh, we move on to the final feature that is we have the minting. So in recent days uh, we have this proof of work concept. So uh, when we move to the west of the world, we have this Google, Facebook and all these stuff. So uh, they basically have that 
uh, kind of uh, funds or power in order to make this technology uh, at the uh, particular level. So blockchain is uh, majorly uh, not being sound or in other parts of the world where this technology is uh, not much there. So in the recent days, what we have, we have a kind of proof of work activity. So what it does, it provides a proof that an individual sitting in a place is working, computational uh, power is there and that individual is engaged in solving a block or solving a queue. So a significant amount of computation power or uh, kind of effort is required in order to solve that block. So this is not a joke. So uh, there's actually a person sitting at some part of the world and he's actually solving that block and you need to just uh, put it in that ledger in order to make a particular kind of a transactional blockchain. So, uh, well, that was all about regarding the features which are there in the blockchain. So in our next videos, we'll see the algorithms as well as this uh, thing which I spoke now, that is a proof of work. So uh, that will have a detailed overview in that video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got educated by watching this video, please do like, share, comment and more, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.